We begin this evening with a warning for parents about an illness called acute flaccid myelitis or AFM. This is a rare polio like illness being reported in several states, including South Carolina, where a case has been confirmed in Greenville County. Our Jenna Corzina spoke to a doctor about the symptoms today and if there is a treatment available. It's a rare but significant condition that affects the spinal cord. AFM acute flaccid myelitis. This disease has had a lot of concern surrounding it, especially for parents since majority of those diagnosed with it are under the age of 18. This can lead to symptoms that are neurological and that they have a sudden weakness, they have slurred speech, patients will have at times a droopy eyelid, uh, will complain of inability to focus, and at severe cases, they will have trouble breathing. Dr. Joshua Prince, a Lexington Medical Center physician, says this disease has been on the rise off and on since 2014. So far, one case has been confirmed here in South Carolina this year. Dr. Prince says it should not raise too many concerns, but err on the side of caution. It is rare, but it needs to be on the radar so that when a parent sees their child with a sudden or acute neurological symptom or sign, that they do seek immediate medical attention. The cause still unknown, and it is also difficult to diagnose, especially since majority of cases are seen in young patients. Some children may present with their parents saying that I feel like my arm is broken. They don't know how to say that I can't move my muscle. They will present as if they can't move their arm, they can't move their finger, they can't lift their eyelid. Sometimes you will have unusual slurred speech for a child. Dr. Prince says the target right now is prevention and early diagnosis. One of the big things we do in prevention is washing hands, mosquito prote protection, but also ensuring that folks are properly vaccinated. In Lexington, Jenna Corzina, News 19 WLTX. And tonight, DHAC telling us that individual cases are not reportable to that agency. However, however multiple cases occurring in a cluster would be reportable.